Hi Virgo, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot and I'm here to do your April 2018 bump. I'm using the regular playing cards. Um, I want to thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes uh, and your comments are really nice. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for all your support. And um, what's coming up for Virgo? Mid-April 2018. Oh, they're getting slippery. Virgo. What are the messages for Virgo? Mid-April 2018. Virgo. I'm going to do a clock um, layout. And it's a shorter reading. And... Um, I'll show it to you once I have it all laid out here. Your underlying energy is the Eight of Clubs. <clears throat> the Eight of Clubs is job talk. So there's been some job talk. And, um, or you're, you're talking to people, you're looking for a job, you're networking with people, perhaps, you know. But anyway, there's job talk going on. Hmm. Your first card I turn over is the Ace of Spades. And this means that you're having words with somebody. Now, it's coupled with the Seven of Clubs and the Two of Hearts. So, these aren't necessarily bad words. Um, you There's a concern. So, you're this is um, a conversation you could be having with a loved one, a relative, your sweetheart, Virgo. But it's something that you're concerned about and you want to bring it up. You want to get together, have dinner together and uh, bring this up because you got to bring it out in the open. So it's, it's a meeting of two people. That's what that two of hearts is. And this is concern, worry. So you've got to you've got to get something off your mind, okay? Um, your next card at the top is the Ace of Spades. It's funny, Aquarius got this too. And the Ace of Spades is about an ending, closing a door. This could be a relationship ending. You know, this is, could be what this talk is about. Um, it could be. A job ending or a change of career because it's right above your eight of clubs which is your underlying energy but I have a feeling that's on an emotional plane because you know you might walk away from this relationship and find complete emotional contentment you know, you could get back together, right? You could end and then you could get right back together. You know, the other person realizes what they're losing out on because this is, oops, <laughs> this is the couple coming back together and you're surrounded by love. You're surrounded by the your family. Um, this is you two in the middle surrounded by, you know, your um, emotional contentment and your happiness. And sometimes it can represent, you know, the structure around you, your home and family and everything. So this turns out really, really nice. And that Ace of Cups is coupled with tears of joy, you know, tears of happiness. You know, it turn, it starts out as an ending. But it could start out as a beginning like this. The aces are beginnings as well. So when something ends, uh, something else uh, begins. When winter ends, spring brings new growth. So there is definitely new growth here because look at that. And these are tears of joy. Tears of joy. So that's, that's turning out very nicely. So it might be worth you or them having the words getting this out maybe it needs to be said and it's going to bring a resolution you know that's what it looks like to me your next card is the jack of hearts what a lovely card jack of car uh, hearts is the cupid card and so this is love you know um 
it is also uh, can represent a youngster, uh, uh, a younger man, maybe hmm, under 30, probably blue eyed for sure. Um, there could be two of them, actually, two or not necessarily just a younger man. I shouldn't have said that a younger person, a blue eyed person. And this is a blue or blue or green eyed person. Now, I just kind of felt something when I said that, you know, green eyed. I kind of felt like greed, you know, when I said that green eyed. I really got a felt feeling like greed, you know, the green eyed monster. And I, I got a, a feeling like that. This could be the same person. But I get the feeling it's this woman. See, it's coupled with the Jack of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs. The Queen of Clubs is a brown or hazel-eyed woman. She's dynamic, passionate, creative, a go-getter. And... um. She, this could be the mother of these two, like this could be a family here. This could be you and your family or your person that you're really caring about, her family, his family. Um... I really think they're two people, you know, when you see this, this Jack with a seven or with some other number, you know, it's representing love and feelings, but it's not. It's, these are three people in your life, a woman and two younger people. Uh, like I said, blue, one's blue eyed for sure. And the other one is blue or green eyes, maybe red hair. Um, the Jack of Diamonds and and maybe your partner has kids and you know maybe this is part of the troubles you know the troubles uh, in the relationship let's see what the next card is the five of hearts so this is a really nice card it's a gift it's a a, a love token it's flirting it's attention you know it's 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 really nice um and it's coupled with the six of hearts and the nine of spades now so this gift could be a romantic trip sixes are usually steps taken sometimes they literally mean a trip Sometimes it's just steps taken in love. And maybe, you know, there's more romance and flirting in, in the love. And I think that's, it's healing any old stuff that was there. It's really healing that. It's taking steps to heal this old yuckiness that was there. Whatever that was, you know, whatever you brought up in week one, okay, um, it's turning out way for the better. It was the best thing you could have done. You could have been dreading it too, you know, and thinking, I got to say my piece. I got to say my piece. But I think it turns out really good in the long run. <laughs> and your last card is the three of diamonds. And the three of diamonds is getting all your uh, ducks in a row. See that? And all your ducks in this instance means financially. You're financially getting all your ducks in a row. You know, I'm wondering if someone's going to propose here. I'm wondering if this is an engagement. Uh, because the three is like the couple coming together, but there's a... Um, a celebration, it's, um, it could be engagement with those diamonds there because it's right across from the Jack of Hearts, which is Cupid. So, you know, that could be it. I want you to have a look at the layout here. So this is your first week, your second week, 
your third week, your fourth week, and then what's to come of all this. So, you know, I think what started out as trouble and a problem and something that you thought could end things, really, it, it, it turns everything right around. It ends up being a good thing. Now, the only repeating card here is uh, sevens and eights. Eights are talking. You're talking about things. You're getting things out. It's funny you have this job talk as the underlying um, thing. Maybe these people over the, here, these two young people and this woman are work for you or are employees. They're involved somehow in this. And um, But anyway, it turns out splendidly. Like it really turns out nice um, in the end. What starts as an issue <laughs> blooms into something nice, you know. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, tinkertarot.com. Please pay at the time of booking so that I know it's a serious booking. Um... And I'm also um, in Canada, Ontario, Canada, and my time zone is Eastern time zone. So just so we can get our timing right um, when we want to do that. Anyway, I do want to say ha happy birthday, Barb Mar Bob Marley on 420. Um, he was a really wonderful man, full of peace, love, harmony, and good vibrations. So happy birthday to you and all the um, Aries people out there and the, the Taurus to come. Anyway, and I'll see you in May. Take care.